Yo, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here to a Saturday night. It is about 9.09 .09 p.m. here, California time, June 22nd, 2024. Latest activity does show some larger movement popping off down here in Venezuela. Uh, the USGS not picking up on that yet, but it does look like a decent-sized earthquake here coming in, in to the area. Uh, looks like maybe just off the coast there, 84 kilometers deep, coming in just about 10 minutes ago. Uh, let's see if we can see any signals of that large earthquake out here. Uh, potentially there in Chile, also showing up maybe on the Barrett Station in Southern California. These are just uh, maybe some P waves or maybe the S waves finally coming in. But uh, it's a pretty decent sized earthquake, 6.2 into the area of Venezuela. Once again, USGS not picking up on it. Let's go check it out here from the EMSC model. Just coming in, so we'll give them a little time to uh, update the maps. Uh, there it is, 6.2, a felt earthquake here. 84 kilometers deep into this region. It looks like it may be on land here. Southern end of the Caribbean plate and uh yeah, wow a yeah, pretty decent sized earthquake out there let me check out the um u.s tsunami warning center see if there's anything going on they haven't even picked up on it yet either so um yeah <laughs> i guess we'll just have to wait and see what they bring up here uh either way definitely a, a larger earthquake out there 5.0 also off the coast of japan far as california activity here uh, still lighting up slightly up and down the plate boundary here. Getting these little sporadic earthquakes up and down the west coast. Uh, far as the Cascadia subduction zone, I was just looking at the trimmer. This is today. We got about uh, 458 epicenters of trimmer along the uh, mostly the northern end here of the Cascadia subduction zone and a little bit down south. But either way, this is definitely a pretty decent uptick here in terms of trimmer. Uh, more so than what we've seen since about the end of 2022. So, um, yeah, we'll just continue to keep an eye on that. Of course, uh, that tells me right there that things are quite heightened there across the Cascadia in terms of trimmer activity. Someone did mention here about, ooh, that was a big firework that just went off outside. Hopefully it was a firework. Um, about the uh, glacier volcano up here. And the relationship between that and a uh, Cascadia subduction zone quake. Let me see what happened here. A glacier peak, right, is the volcano up there in Washington. I found out the last eruption was about uh, 1,100 years ago. And the Cascadia subduction zone earthquake was about 324 years ago. So uh, I don't think there's a relationship there uh, with that time period. It can produce some multiple. It can produce very large explosions out here, and I'm really surprised that this volcano is not monitored um, as much as it should be. Uh, if you go and look at the GPS statements up here, there's really no measurements um, to keep an eye on this volcano at all. Glacier Peak. Look at it right here. No GPS stations anywhere near that. And if you look on the USGS stations uh, for volcanoes and hazards, there's hardly any seismograph stations up there either. And this is a major volcano. It does play a major threat, uh, potentially, due to its proximity there and, um, of course, its explosive path past. And uh, they got one seismograph station here that doesn't even work. So it's like all the other volcanoes here across the Cascades are well monitored, except for the Glacier Peak one. I don't understand that because that is, uh, I think, uh, a, you know, a little bit of time has passed there since the last eruption. And we could be coming up on an eruption uh, any time here. So, well, we just don't know. Don't know if it's getting elevated. No signs of earthquake activity because we don't have the stations there to look at. I'd like to see the uh, USGS implement some more funds. Uh, towards the um, monitoring of Glacier Peak there. Uh, let's see what else we got. Showing up there on... Yeah, that could be the... Uh, that would be the primary wave, I believe. Barely showing up here across 
some of the seismograph stations, but it does look like, uh, well, it got up downgraded here to a 6.1. Still a sizable earthquake. Nothing coming in here from the USGS yet, and uh, that's just how it is sometimes, a little slow. As uh, far as any other earthquake activity goes here, uh, typical zone, seeing some movement. I don't think we've seen anything out at Yellowstone. This is still a, a defunctionable seismograph, a digital reading that's just out of whack. No one uh, seems to want to fix it up there, but that's not any ground movement uh, or any, anything like that. If that was the case, if the ground movement was up there like that, we would have been seeing it all across the park. I guarantee you that. As far as earthquake activity, not a whole lot. We did have some wind events here earlier. These are wind events stirring up out there across this area of Wyoming. And let's see here. Space weather activity real quick. Looking at uh, a couple different sunspots coming around the eastern limb here, including the former sunspot 3697, which is um, it hasn't been named yet. 3722 is just a, uh, looks like a little forward uh, or a sunspot that's ahead of the former sunspot here. This is going to be the former sunspot has not been named yet, renamed for a third trip around the sun here, Earth-facing side. Uh, overall threat remains elevated at 15% chance for X-flare, M-flare at 60, C-flare at 99% chance, and we'll see what these sunspots have in store for us. I think we're going to get uh, some, you know, quite a bit of active activity out here from these, uh, from at least this main sunspot region here that has given us many, many X-flares uh, this month, earlier this month, and last month's uh, Explore activity and historic Aurora events as well. Quite a few uh, uh, filaments out here that could be blasting off. Looks like we did have one here on the uh, southeastern limb of the sun. We'll keep an eye on that. That's plasma that could be shot off in the Earth directed view. Right now, there is no um, major Aurora forecast out there for now. Oh, there we go. Okay, so these guys going with a 6.0 here. This one is just offshore, it looks like. 87 kilometers deep. It has been reviewed. Again, a real quick check here at the Tsunami Warning Center. Nothing from them. You know, this area definitely can see some large earthquakes down here. Uh, just to the west of Port, the Port of Spain area. And again, just off the coast here it looks like southern end of the Caribbean plate 6.0 earthquake 87 kilometers deep we'll uh let's see here double check these readings yeah that's got to be that signature so I don't think it's any bigger than that USGS 6.0 EMSC model uh reporting that as this um well it looks like they dropped down to agreement there maybe all right you guys have a good night. I'm going to jump off here, get this video uploaded. Stay uh, on guard out here. You know, obviously, um, it's looking a little bit more active out east here. Uh, Hawaii. Let's double check Hawaii here real quick before we jump off here. Seen some increasing activity leading up to the summit. Uh, got about 24 earthquakes here. Uh, this region, you know, is quite elevated quite inflated out here across the southern region here of the Kilauea volcano and um, you know if we see this earthquake activity really ramp up here in this area we could be talking about maybe seeing some fissure activity open up here in this area maybe a displacement of all that uh, magma that's causing all this inflation off to the uh, rift, uh, east rift zone let's check out the deformation data here real quick and then we'll mosey on down the road I guess Still seeing quite a bit here of inflation. Sharp rise up here in the last uh, 30 days. Just, uh, it keeps going up and up and up. There's really no downturn. The one thing I notice about this is any type of deflationary event looks like it's shorter than previous runs here. There's the eruption back in June. Uh, yeah, we're, we're getting up there, guys. We are getting up there. We'll continue to keep an eye on all this activity. But for now, decent earthquake out there in the Venezuela area. If you happen to be out there in that region, let me know what it felt like. It's not a super shallow earthquake, but it does look like folks reporting that 
over there around the Port of Spain area, the uh, Trinidad and Tobago area. Have a good night, folks. We'll catch you guys back out here in the morning. Stay safe.